Welcome to Thought for the Day. My name is John. It's my privilege to serve on team here. And I'm going to take a few moments to share with you a thought from the Bible. And normally I'd like to do this live, but today I'm filming this on Sunday evening, ready for you on Monday morning. And I pray that it is an encouragement to you as we continue in this series, Thought for the Day, about seeing God's goodness at work in our life. We're exploring how it's all good, how God is at work in many different areas and we can choose to see the goodness of God. Today I'm going to talk to you about a verse that I was so excited to see was put down for me to speak about because it's what I would consider to be one of my life verses. You might be thinking what's a life verse? What's going on there John? Well a little while ago I was encouraged to think about some life verses. What are some verses in the scriptures that are more than just meaningful verses that I come to and that I am encouraged by, but that I specifically feel through the Holy Spirit speaking that these are promises that I am personally laying hold of in my life. So today I'm going to take you to one of my life verses and we're going to explore this area of seeing God's goodness at work in our life even in the midst of challenging and difficult seasons and situations in moments where we might feel rattled. If that's how you feel today or you've ever felt like that or you think, hey, I might go through a season like that in the future, then I believe this is going to be helpful for you. There is at least one other significant life verse that I have and if you want to get into the comments and ask me about it I will be in the comments through the course of today and I would love to tell you what is that other significant life verse but today I want to take you to a verse in Psalm 27 and verse 13. Here is something you might not know about me. Many people that I meet and including people who know me quite well and even my even my wife might say well John you're quite steady. I come across quite steady. And while that is true, often under the surface, I can be battling with negativity. I can also be fearful. I can worry. I can worry about things like my health and what might happen if this happens and the safety of my family. I can battle with negativity. I can feel fearful and I can worry. And at times, that can leave me feeling a little bit overwhelmed or discouraged. And while I process that mainly inside and on the surface things might still steady, there are moments where I feel overwhelmed. And this verse that I'm going to take you to has been an incredible blessing to me and an important reminder for me to keep looking towards the goodness of God as I journey through my life. Even when I might feel like, hey, I'm up against it here. I don't see things working out the way I want them to. God, why are we not seeing more progress? I don't have progress. I have to come back to this promise. And it helps me to realign my eyes, to look to God once again, and to believe that God is at work even today in my life. I want to read you this verse and then I want to share with you a couple of thoughts that will help you, I believe, if you find yourself going through similar things. Because, you know, we all walk through these things. You might process life very, very differently to me. But we'll all face moments where we're up against it, where we don't feel like things are going the way we thought they would, where even our faith is feeling a little bit shaken. And I want to encourage you that this verse can speak to you and help you in that moment. Psalm 27 and verse 13. I'm going to read it to you from the ESV version today. It says this, I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I want to ask you today, what do you believe? I have to ask myself, John, what do you believe? Because I have to remind myself that I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, the psalmist here writes and he has confidence and he doesn't have confidence based in his own strength. 
I do not have to be confident that John is going to work out an answer to everything. But the psalmist says, I am confident in the Lord. I am confident in the Lord because the Lord has come through before. I am confident in the Lord because I've seen his faithfulness before. I am confident because the goodness is in the nature of God. I am confident because I have the grace of God. I am confident because I've been saved by God. I am confident because my eternity is secure. That God has purchased me with a price. That I have a purpose to live for today. I have to remind myself I am confident. I believe. Not in my own abilities, not in my own strength, not in my own resources, but I believe and I will see the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So I want to ask you today to reflect on this. Where is your confidence? Is your confidence in yourself? Is your confidence in your circumstances all going well? Or is your confidence in the Lord. I have to ask myself, John, where is your confidence? John, are you shaken today because you think you're going to sort things out yourself and you suddenly feel overwhelmed that maybe you can't? Or is my confidence in the Lord? And so I want to encourage you today to have a fresh confidence in the goodness of God based on all the things that I just spoke about. You see, today, I can choose to believe that God is at work. Even in the midst of a difficult season, I can choose to believe that God is at work. I can trust that God is at work. I can choose what I look to today. I can choose whether I have to keep my eyes down and I focus on the problems and the things that I am walking through, or I can choose to lift my eyes and look to God. I can choose to at times look back and see the faithfulness of God. I can choose to look forward to the return of Christ and his eternal kingdom. I can choose where I'm looking today. When I choose where I focus my eyes, where I focus my attention, my faith can rise in in the truth that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Here's what it goes on to say in the next verse. Wait for the Lord. Sometimes we need to be reminded to wait for the Lord. I'm going to wait on God. I'm not going to try and force something through in my own strength. I'm not going to try and engineer a way. But I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to have a faith and a confidence that God in his timing is going to work things out according to his will. It says, wait for the Lord, be strong. You know, we see through scriptures, even Joshua is commanded to be strong and courageous, for I am with you, says the Lord. Be strong. I want you to think about that promise to Joshua today. Allow that to strengthen you. Be strong. Not because you're just trying to be like, hey, I'm going to hype myself. I'm going to go again. I'm going to pump myself up. But no, I'm going to be strong because I have waited on the Lord. Because I trust that God is with me. It says, wait on the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And I wonder today, maybe you feel like, hey, I feel like I've taken some knocks. I feel discouraged. I believe that God wants to minister to you today. That you're going to believe this verse for yourself. That you're going to take it as a promise of God. That I'm going to take courage. (coughs) That I'm going to look to God. That I'm going to see that God is at work today. In the things that are going on. That I can still see areas of the goodness of God. And I believe. I'm going to see more of God's goodness as I continue to journey through life with him. Let me read this one more time and then I'm going to pray. I just want you to receive this over you. Receive it as a promise as I read it to you today. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. 
Lord, I pray for each person who's listened to this today. Lord, I pray that you would be an encouragement in their life, Lord. I pray that they would choose where they're looking today. I pray that they would choose to look to you. They would choose to wait. And as they spend time waiting in your presence, Lord, that they would know what it is to have their strength renewed, Lord. That they would have a fresh confidence arise. That I have a confidence today. That God, you are at work. And God, while you're still working, that I am confident that I will see your goodness in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you, encourage you, have a fantastic week. Love for you to be engaged in the comments. Love to hear what God's speaking to you through this passage. Love to hear your thoughts. I will engage with you in the comments through the course of the day. And if this has blessed you, you can share it with someone else. And I look forward to being with you on Thought for the Day again very soon. Take care. Goodbye.